Hello again. Just want to take a few minutes now to show you how you actually can create a macro in order to calculate your break-even contribution rate to the retirement calculator that we created earlier. Uh, if you remember, it's a little bit of a cumbersome process to use the solver function. Could have done it with goal seek, but we use the solver function. And the problem is there's just several steps, right? You have to come up here to data. You have to click on the solver function. You have to go through the process of setting your target cell. So we want our surplus or deficit to be zero. In other words, we want to hit our desired savings uh, by the time we pass away. So we want that value to be zero, the surplus or deficit to be zero by changing our contribution rate. Hit the solve function, click OK, and it's going to give you this break even contribution rate. So the problem is anytime you go in and change any of these inputs, whether it's your assumed annual raise, your retirement age, anytime you change an input, obviously the percentage of your annual income that you need to contribute in order to hit your goal is going to change. And so you have to go through this process of going up to the solver function and working through the wizard. So you can simplify and streamline this by actually creating a macro. However, there's one or two tricks that you have to be aware of. So I want to show you how you can create a macro to recalculate your break-even contribution rate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a button uh, in my spreadsheet that will just every time we press the button it will recalculate for us. So, and I'm going to put the button right here and I'm going to get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. And so I'm just going to put the button right here uh, that's going to recalculate our break-even contribution rate. So up on my developer ribbon, by the way, if you don't have the developer ribbon, uh, you can go to Microsoft, just the Office button up here go to Excel options and you can see right there you need to click show developer tab in the ribbon so if you don't have the developer tab just go do that click on that Excel options click on that little uh, square right there and you'll have this developer tab so in the developer tab I'm going to insert a button and I'm gonna just do it right here I'm gonna make it you know big enough that we can see it it doesn't have to be huge uh, but there it is and so then you can see it's asking me if I want to assign a macro I do I'm gonna give it a macro name I'm just gonna call it recalculate and I'm gonna record once I hit the record button Excel is going to record everything that I do so uh, and I'm not gonna give it a shortcut key you could give it a shortcut key but we're just gonna use this button so I'm gonna click OK at this point Excel is recording everything that I do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to data solver I'm going to reset everything. So I want a fresh wizard for my solver parameters. I'm going to reset all. OK. Now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say ultimately I want my surplus or deficit to be a value of zero by changing my contribution percentage. I'm going to click the solve button. It's going to solve it. And then I'm going to add just one little step. I'm going to say let's have this right here, the break even contribution rate. Let's just link it up with the output right there. The reason I'm doing that is because that way if users click this button it recalculates the break-even contribution rate it'll show up right there. At this point I'm done with the macro so what I want to do is I want to stop recording so I'm going to go to view macros stop recording. Now the problem is if you try to press this button and recalculate you're gonna get an error message. Let me show you the small trick that you need to know here what you need to do is go in and view your macros you see the recalculate macro you need to come over here to where it says edit that's gonna pull up visual basic now you don't need to know anything about visual basic I myself am not fantastic with visual basic but what you need to know is up here in the tools reference you need to make sure that solver is checked so go to tools reference and you can see solver is not checked so I need to click on that solver and I'm going to click OK. And I'm also going to add just one small trick here as well where it says solver solve right there. I'm going to put a space and I'm going to put user finish colon equal sign true. So again that's user finish colon equal sign true all that's going to do is um, prevent the solver results dialog box from showing up so this way we won't actually get that dialog box that we got at the end of the solver process should be able to click out of that okay so now that you've done that with the VBA you've done the little tweak that you need to in order to make the macro work you should be able to come back and you should be able to see that if you click on this button right here 
it should actually recalculate the break-even point for you. So you could make a simple change, maybe 2.1 to the uh, assumed annual raise. Should be able to come and click on the button, and it will recalculate what percentage of your annual income you would need to contribute to your retirement account in order to reach your investment goals. Also, one thing you could do is you could come in and right-click on the button here, double-click on the text, and you could relabel it. You could say something just as simple as recalculate break even contribution rate uh, hit the enter button or sorry click outside of it and now you have a button that's you know well defined easy to understand for the users you can make any changes you want maybe you're going to retire at 65 maybe you're hoping to get 7.75 percent average annual return click the recalculate break even contribution rate button and shazam your macro works for you hopefully you find the tip helpful talk to you later